So we're happy to see um, all of the great work that's gone into this. And this is really just the start. Um, yeah, I forgot to start recording. So yeah, now we're now recording and we can post. So this is our last stand-up. And um, what's coming next is that we'll have two tutorials and a quiz today. And there are also two further um, challenges that will be posted. So all of you, you have now submitted 10 different challenges. You've done four quizzes. And people have been busy participating on Slack. So the process going forward uh, towards the election looks as follows. Um, the two further quizzes will be due, and we'll post all of these dates and times on the website. But the last two challenge assignments will be due on Monday evening. So there's there's a bit of time for those. Those will be covered in the tutorials today. And um, we will update the leaderboard tomorrow, and that will include the information from at least the first four quizzes, probably all five quizzes, and the assignments that you submitted today. It will not include, of course, the assignments that we put out or the challenges that will be released um, that, are, that are due on Monday. So one, two more challenges that um, will be released today. That's Power BI and the COVID challenge. Those are due on Monday evening. Um, and we'll put together a submission mechanism. The leaderboard will be updated by tomorrow. And that'll be the last leaderboard update. And we plan to have interviews with um, those people who have so far been successful in um, over this week. And that'll be that those interviews will be the last stage um, before we send out acceptance letters for the program starting on the 13th of July. So yeah, that's in terms of the very practical stuff. That's where we stand. Um, you have a go? Yeah, I think, so, if I you, think yeah, okay. uh, I am just trying to take a group photo because I just thought like we should um, switch on all of us to just a video because I have made now my window tile in such a way that we can just, if we all switch on, we can just take a group photo, just like a screenshot basically. Um, okay, so um, with that, I think what I'm, I'm just going to change, sorry. Like, uh, so. Arun, until then, for 30 seconds, you can take. I can, I can talk. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great to see everyone turning their video on. Sorry, we're killing everyone's bandwidth, but nevertheless, it's cool to see everyone. Yeah, I think it's just let's just take the picture, and I will share Turn with you just on. also. Uh, it's, fun, the, it's funny to see everyone's backgrounds where they are. Some people exactly. are adjusting so their hair. I'm just gonna take and then gonna I share. My hair too. <laughs> yeah, uh, Umam Basha, Um Ash. Ashba is or on the okay great. So now, at least we take a picture and the video is there too. So I don't know if I can scroll down. Google doesn't let me. But thanks guys, it's really it just looks great. I'll, you'll see the picture again. Another one more shot. Just perfect. Okay. So before I forget, then great, it's saved. So you can. Um, Either keep it or leave, like you can switch it off now if you want. Okay. So, okay, what was, uh, I think today I'm excited actually, just because you guys have been struggling and, you know, just doing all the best you can. And I really, I think you don't know how much we are impressed. And we really, and it also just kind of gives us this energy to do more. Um, and for me in particular. So, one of the challenges, so, Particularly what I want is every lesson, every day that you put actually is useful. Not just only here, but is actually you can add it um, into your CV, you can um, show it to your friends. So there's nothing, if you can't share it to your friends, if you can't use it to build your, you know, your kind of like um, um, as a person, as a, an individual, how you give to the world. So it's kind of, I feel like, you may not understand the really value. So one of the things, the Twitter challenge, I'm sure you will continue and you will try to, and some of, I mean, a few people even went outside what I asked it and tried to even post their status via uh, Python. You know, that's the kind of thing that I, I would like to see. And really that's the kind of thinking outside the box, right? Um, and also you can really just use it now to analyze, you know, infodemic. So you can just participate, for example, in some of the, uh, local challenge that you have uh, about like, you know, detecting fake news, what are people talking and all that you can actually keep 
analyzing it, using this code, improve, understand this code, and keep analyze that thing and notify it to the the world. It, you know, using Twitter, using Facebook, kind of give feedback to the to the community, and probably really this will uh, make you rise even more, right? So, um, and one other thing that you would do now is Ja will take you through uh, Power BI. That's about how you can make. You have now Pandas, you have Twitter, you have all that, and then you have now a visualization tool that you can make dashboard easily. So that means you can just share to the world even a beautiful, um, just your visualizations. But now I'm going to add in the afternoon also a little bit more than that. So to actually analyze your current data on COVID related, like a, you know, on the epidemic, and as well as also to pull data from the WHO Health Observatory to actually then integrate that such that you call the API to get all the relevant data about like, you know, uh, how many, what is the dying probability in your country and what is like, um, so uh, what kind of the disease prevalence. So you can just take that one and then there is the COVID analysis and then you have JAS and the previous uh, analysis, you can just actually create your dashboard. Definitely not in one day, but you have all the bits and pieces of the tools now to make something that's really great, something that you know your health minister would like to see. You know, so it's not just only a play, but you can actually. It's up to you now to take it to work on it and make it. I mean, definitely you need to probably work even in collaboration with other people here because it's usually it's like, it takes some time. It takes some innovation. You know, what is the best color to use? Even it's just sometimes difficult, but you have all the tools, you have all the codes, you have like kind of like some of you fixed already the Twitter code. So you have all the tools, all the bits and pieces that's necessary to do something beyond just exercise and challenge. And that's what our plan was, like to not just allow you only just to exercise, but every effort you put just this week kind of goes with you in your portfolio, in your uh, you know, to grow as, an, as a person, as an individual. So that's what I want to say. And really, congratulations. Keep doing all these elements that we gave you this week, whether you are accept, whether you're going to continue. Because of our capacity, we may not take everyone with us, but, you know, you have everything. Like, um, you, the Slack will be there, so you can actually keep collaborating through it. Um, we don't kick you out from that. Um, it will be community managed. We are not going to be able to... Uh, Put that much effort because we're going to have another, you know, three months session that we need to plan for the other one. But you, it's it, you will manage it, and it will be for you to cut to keep continuing the discussion and the collaboration. So I don't know if I took if I say more, but I will hand it back to Arun with that. Um, Great, and just to add on to that, so that's um, these are the technical skills that we're aiming to provide. Our goal is to. Um, provide each of you with, as you have well said, real skills that are useful in quote unquote the real world. And the real world for us in the first instance means getting a job. And so the training that we're aiming to put, to put together, I believe, will follow um, a similar format. Probably um, it'll be a lot of work, but I think that we'll be able to, with a smaller group, build a little bit of a smaller community and perhaps engage um, a little bit more. Um, probably more in-depth challenges, but fewer challenges but wanting to bring everyone um, along the journey. And one of the things that we're really interested in is not only com the completeness of your knowledge from acquiring data to being able to process the data, being able to visualize the data, but then adding on the how do you answer real questions that are useful in the business world. And um, so lots of different things happening in parallel, but looking forward to, um, yeah, the people, actually, maybe I should take a step back. Why, why are we doing this week? Um, I think most most programs simply you have an application. It's based on what you are. It's based on what you've known in the past, maybe based on your grades. And for us, what we're really enthusiastic about is giving people the opportunity to demonstrate that they're willing to put the work in. So that work ethic is a big part of it, because we think that in the quote unquote real world, it's uh, that that makes one of the biggest differences. And so we've put these we've put these challenges out, recognizing that 12 challenges over a week's a lot but we've done that because we wanted to give everyone more or less a fair opportunity to show what they can do so irrespective of what your previous educational background is or was or what you knew 
um, we tried to give people the opportunity to show that they're happy and hungry um, to pick up different knowledge. And that's in that in that way we will continue. Um, so just to reiterate the schedule, we have quite a few new joiners, um, and people keep joining, which is great, even if we're a bit late. Um, so today we will have two tutorials. We'll introduce two new challenges, and we will have our daily quiz. Um, the two new challenges, which are Power BI and uh, COVID-19, they will be due on Monday, Monday at midnight. Um, the leaderboard will be updated tomorrow, and that will be the last leaderboard update. And we will have um, interviews next Tuesday and Wednesday for people who um, met our expectations or the performance expectations for um, over this week. And then we'll be able to make our final decisions next week, and we're looking for a start on the 13th of July. So that's where we stand. Um, and we are, just for the people who joined, and to add to what Yevibel said, we're excited. I think that the this is this experiment for us and an experiment for most of you, I imagine, it's been, um, it's been successful so far. And we look forward to this uh, three-month-long training program being, um, yeah, the next stage in the experiment. And we have uh, bigger dreams, and so you guys are part of that part of that journey with us. So I'll yeah, and that's all from my side for now. Jean. Yes, and uh, I think you you say everything, but I would like to thank all those uh, great people because I see your energy, your activity on uh, the challenge and the task and the quizzes. I know this week was uh, just wonderful wonderful for you and wonderful for me also because you have learned a lot but uh, we also have learned a lot uh, from you guys so what i will say is just to continue in this way and uh, even if you are not continue with uh, the the three month training you guys have learned a lot in this week and you could just take it like uh, 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 now to a, a, a start value from what you have learned because we have provided with you, you with basic pandas with a, a plotting with C about mining uh, sql data analysis and then, then today power bi and uh, so everything else so you guys have uh, some kind of things you a, a data scientist should really have handed so you have been introducing and this is uh, this should be now uh, uh, your 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 starting point for a new journey. Yes, all of your all, all of your your life, you will be now uh, doing kind of things. You could just uh, do it in those like of way we show you in this way. If you are happy by uh, with yourself, that's okay. Now we are open. The Slack channel is there, like uh, Yabi already said, you are going to continue your collaboration. And uh, if you reach me out, I will always be there to answer you with as much as possible, because if I don't have time, it's okay. But if I have time, yes, I will, I will answer. Yes. So for today, a tutorial, we are going to, to have hand in a Power BI. Uh, I didn't want to do it before, but I I come to the conclusion that this is very important because uh, with my own experiences, I have been using uh, Power BI a lot in the business uh, just to make dashboard and reporting and so answering, at least answering business questions, diagnosis, analysis, uh, descriptive analysis, basic plotting and nice visualization. So to, to see how business is, is doing, is performing, at least for that, you need uh, Power BI. You could also be using other platforms like Tableau or ClickView, but I think we are going to focus on Power BI for, for today. So now uh, Power BI is only uh, available on Windows. So this is going to be a little bit challenging, but I think a uh, few people only are using uh, Linux and uh, I have asked as well, then you guys can actually try to install, for example, a, how to say, a virtual machine, a Windows virtual machine, so that you could be able to, to download the, the Windows version of, uh, of Power BI. Now, uh, you just need, even those who have a Windows, who are running uh, under Windows, 
you need a, a yes, probably I have a web a version, but uh, I don't want you guys to see in for this time because I tried last day, uh, yesterday to to open the dashboard uh, for the web version and it's saving as me to to see in. So within the, the with the scene in what is the problem you will probably be asked to provide a, your organization email your work email address yes so for now i suppose you don't have so you just have gmail but uh, you are you will not be able to sign in with your gmail account so that's why so you, you could try and if it's work that's okay but yesterday i tried that and it was not uh, working i was obliged to sign in with my work account so now uh, what you will do is to to download uh, the power bi from the windows store and once you finish the the download you will not have to open the power bi uh, the app you will not have to open the app you will just have now to open the dashboard i already prepared for you Today, you are not going to make a dashboard in entire. You are going to explore a, a, a dashboard I already made and now uh, explore things very well and answer some questions to help business make some decisions. For example, I have designed a number of questions for that. So now uh, you, will, you are going to, to create a, a Microsoft account. This one is uh, very easy and you will have the process. I think I described uh, the steps in one of the today uh, five in your folder for Friday. So you are going to see that one to create a Microsoft account because you will be requested to, to upload the information about your Microsoft account when you, you want to download the Power BI from Windows Store. So for those who have Linux, you are going to install a virtual machine. And I have asked it as well to help you guys to, to achieve that. So I will be there and uh, in the technical side, he will be there also. So apart from that, you are just going to explore some reports and answer uh, some simple questions. Yes. So that's all from my side, and uh, thank you. Great. Should we, so Jean, you have your tutorial in a bit. Should we do a quick round, people who want to do their daily stand-up? Yeah. I was about to say oh, that yeah. just we should at least have, even if it, we are Time is slightly whatever, but we need to give at least a few standups. Yes. Who, who okay. hasn't spoken here? The problem, the problem with getting Jean talking about data science is that it's very hard to break Jean. <laughs> OK. <laughs> OK. So should I, should I run the stand up now? Sure. Yeah, go ahead. OK. OK. So we have uh, three questions. Uh, what have you done? What? Uh, are you doing now what is uh, your challenge actually for the previous uh, challenges so you guys i know you are doing great i will just choose uh, some people here uh, just uh, in front of me so that you can randomly answer those so are these people uh, jean like are these people the ones who hasn't spoken yet right like just we oh, need to give yeah. yes okay but i can see Okay, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know. Let me choose, and then we see. <laughs> exactly. I mean, yes, it, it's so... fine. I mean, but just if okay. you want to, if so you haven't just... spoken, and if you want to speak, just write it in the chat. But now, Ja, just continue. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Johnson, did you speak uh, last time? Just go on, Ja. Just give, okay. give okay. a name and uh, let the other person speak. speak. Yes. I okay. So, okay. Okay. Uh, Timothy. Uh, just say yes, and then I know. Okay, Timothy, did you speak? Yeah, he's he's muted, but he's saying something. He, he probably yes. is saying yeah. Yes. He did. Okay, he did. So, so J Jayola. Jayola is already said, so you can go. Uh, she she said yes. she hasn't, so or she or he that hasn't, so go on. Yes. Okay. So uh, glory, glory, Odeini. Are you here? Good morning. Okay, Jayola. Hey. Good morning. Yeah, we do here. Good morning. Yes. 
Good morning. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we do hear you. Go on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, currently now I um I'm trying to work on uh, my SQL and the Twitter challenge because uh, majorly the challenges I actually faced was from SQL. I was not uh, very conversant with the commands. So I was not able to work well with the challenge. So I'm planning of working with the SQL challenge for now and uh, continue with the challenge for today and uh, the standard, uh, the tutorials for today. So generally, I really enjoyed the program and I want to say thank you. That's all. OK. Then Glory, Glory or Daini. Uh, so far, I've been um, working on all the challenges. I've been able to work on all the challenges, and they've been really, well, challenging, but I've been able to do them so far. I think the one I had the most challenge, that I found most challenging was the Twitter mining challenge. I was unable to finish it, but I submitted what I was able to do. Then today, I plan on working on um, the quiz today and the challenges that will be given. And maybe on a later time, I'll sit down and study the Twitter mining challenge again. And hopefully, this time around, find a solution. Okay. That's all. Sure. Thank you. Uh, the next question is Kai Valari. Kai Valari. Are you here? Kai Valari. So I'm moving to the next question. Okay, uh, Thomas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I, I, I have like kind of pronunciation. Uh, let me just uh, try to write it. Uh, oh, but I cannot see the. Okay. Let me choose another person. Augustine Filgo. Filgo Augustine. Are you here? She's probably muted. Okay. Uh, another person. Temilade Adelakun. Good morning. Yeah, I have yeah, spoken. Okay. I spoke two days ago. Okay, okay. You spoke to me. Yes. Thank you. Now, okay, okay. Uh, Patrick already spoke, right? Wikali Mioki. Mioki. Yes. Jean, um, did you say? I spoke okay, yes. two days ago. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it 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 no it it on, Did you say it on before, right? So I think yes. I think God. Uh, if he didn't speak, it on. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um. This is Etonam. Oh, okay. So okay. Yes. It's, it's Etonam. Um, Thanks for I'll, correcting. Okay. Um. I would say that um. It's been good so far. Uh, I've worked on some of the challenges. I was not able to do all because uh, I found it a little bit difficult with uh, understanding some of the codes, especially the SQL. Yes, so at least, but for the SQL, I've been able to do something before uh, 8 a.m. today. And for the Twitter mining, to, I'm still finding some difficulties with it, so I plan to go through the answers provided in order to be able to understand it more. But then in all, it, it's been very good so far. And, and I thank the team very much for their support. Thank you. Okay, so I think because... So, one more, uh, one, two. Yes. I mean, the last one, because we have no yes. time is going, so okay. just let's have yeah. one yeah, more yeah. and then 
Patrick Oyunde uh, says that he has a question or she has a, que he has a question. question. Okay, okay. But, yes. uh, but go on, it's like that one and then maybe Patrick and then let's finish. Okay, Patrick, come on. Patrick. He probably have some network issue. Okay, Patrick, can you hear us? No, no, but okay. He, he wrote, um, I have some data scientist friends and senior engineers who claim R is best used for data science over Python. I think, <laughs> uh, what is your opinion? And I think, yes. uh, I was. Yes. Go on, yes. Jai, if you want. Uh, Should we do this okay. on Slack or is yes. it better here? I think so. I think maybe <laughs> yes, it's yes, just yes, easier. Yes. Just let ask that question so, in Slack so that we can do it in Slack. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. I think you will, you will answer this question again in Slack so that the discussion will be open. But uh, yes, you know, guys, in my side, I can just say I'm using both Python and R. I was uh, using R before. I remember in 2017, I was using R and uh, guys was not understanding what I was doing. But uh, now uh, in the end, this I think R is, uh, yes, more for, let's say, statistical data analysis. So more for statistics. Yes, it's still data science uh, very well, machine learning and uh, every kind of model you need, R could just do it for you. And uh, Python also uh, is actually uh, doing uh, the same thing, but Python is just a more general, a more general programming uh, language. So both are programming languages. So R is uh, oriented uh, to Uh, you should be introduced to uh, visit the Kagal, uh, yes, Kagal or Cindy competition. There you will have the uh, the most use, and I think uh, the most use are just R and Python. So I could just just say I, I, I don't care about the order, Python or R or R or, or Python. So uh, I have been experience with uh, the environment both of them and what i could just say is that uh, once you you know how to use one you will exactly know how to use the other one because last time i was not using python now i'm just uh, like more focused on python because i really like some packages and some yes uh, output of uh, about protein R have a very nice uh, functionality for plotting using, for example, the ggplot2 uh, package. And uh, so it depends on what I really want to do. So if I want to do, for example, a very nice plotting, next I, I can just move to, to, uh, to R to use the ggplot. But now if I want to do more like uh, general programming, uh, very deep, uh, analysis about a machine learning or supervised, supervised learning, and then I can, I'm happy with Python. Yes, so I think uh, the tools you are going to use to solve problem uh, is not the, the problem. The, the only one problem is to know how you are going to solve your problem once you define your methodology. Once you get, you define your problem, then you define your methodology. At each step on your, of your methodology, you are going to, to use something, some tool. So uh, for data aggregation, data manipulation, data mining, yes, you are going to use SQL, which is better because, but this not mean that uh, you cannot do data aggregation with R or Python. Example is that we have a very nice package in R also. We call it a deeply R. So it's very useful when you want to do some aggregation, some data mining. Yes, it's very useful. And uh, in the other side also, you have a pandas of Python, very useful for data mining and aggregation. Now, uh, you will have to test uh, three of them, and then you, you have to see with uh, which one you are more comfortable with. Now, coming to the statistical analysis, 
yes, the distribution, the probability distribution, the hypothesis testing, and so on. And so I think uh, here, from my own experiences, R is, uh, is better. R is better, but you guys can try and, and see. And uh, now moving to machine learning, then I will prove Python. And now if I want to deal with visualization, then I would like to focus on R or Power BI or everything else. So it's, depend, it's really depend on what you want to do. But I can, I, 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 can, I can just say you that if you know how to use Python, you will know how to, you will probably know how to use R. Yes, and uh, I don't see a lot of difference between them. So R is just a statistical programming language, and Python is more general. Yes. So I know Yabi also is uh, using uh, Python a lot. If you want to share something, that's I think I think let's take it to that to Slack. So just for the sake of time, just okay. let's. Uh, okay. 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 So okay, is sure, there sure, anything sure. else like left? Just uh, think because we are now seven minutes of time. So should we say, yeah. let's meet all for the tutorial? Yeah, I think we should do that. Yes. Great. Thanks. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Cheers. Thank you.